Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video right now, there's a lot of folks in the world that are kind of upset with Xbox. Now, as you guys probably know, we've had the PlayStation 5 Pro that just came out, a pretty good console. We also have the PlayStation 30th Anniversary Digital Edition, the controller, and of course, as well, the Pro Edition. And I think right now, at least based on my channel, based on the analytics, based on the views, and based on all the brand new subscribers, thank you guys all so much, it does kind of seem like that's a very, very sought after console. But right now, if you guys didn't know, there actually is a limited edition xbox series x console that is now in the works slash is now going to be sold in the very near future and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i myself am not too impressed the overall gaming community not too impressed and i'm kind of making this video to kind of remind you guys that it exists and of course i want to hear your honest thoughts down below now as you guys probably know xbox has had a little bit of a slump we do like game pass they make a lot of money now with activision world of warcraft call of duty overwatch all those popular games i'm sure you guys have heard about but of course the console still is not getting as much love as we'd all expect so we're going to go talk about the fact that no well number one it's kind of a meh console number two i'm going to show you guys actually too you guys can physically see what it looks like and number three i want to know if you guys even buy this or not so subscribe if you guys are new with the notifications on we also make sure you guys subscribe here the second channel both the twitter accounts and the twitch if you guys want those entries for the playstation 5 pro giveaway on going the channel itself and of course as well if you guys want to buy a ps5 pro we have all the affiliate links down below and thank you guys all so much who have been picking that up let's go dive on into it so First and foremost, let's actually go and show you guys off this console. So right now, Xbox is doing their own secondary wave, where they do have a brand new white Xbox Series X console, where it's technically a slightly better console, in theory, has a little bit more memory, so it's nice, but it's making a pure digital console, which obviously some people on both ends, both on PlayStation and Xbox, are not the biggest fan of. Game preservation, physical media, and of course, we've had a lot of outages, both on Xbox and PlayStation as of per recently, which is not making many people happy mainly because you had a chance a few weeks ago for playstation where you boot up your console and you couldn't even launch your own digitally downloaded games due to licensing issues we made a video on that one a lot of people are not happy with that and obviously they took their like they got it fixed pretty quick same with xbox one of they have issues but it still does go and suck so a lot of people are obviously anti not having physical media but right now there is brand new also consoles so if you guys missed it a while ago, and let me go give you guys a little full-on thing over here, but also shout over here to Shannon Grix. Panic Xbox. We're going to give you guys the run. That kind of looks, sounds like soda popping. I'm going to play this out a little bit for you guys to go and see. This is the brand new limited edition Xbox Series X console. And I'm going to give you guys some choice words. Don't think I'm too much of an Xbox hater. These are just my honest thoughts. Don't mind me. I also did buy a PS5 30th anniversary edition. I keep on saying that. I'm not trying to gloat too hard. But either way, the console itself, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is not that cool <laughs> not to be too much of a hater but this is just quite literally a black xbox series x with little galaxy designs and white dots all over it now there is slightly better specs as you guys can see the zoom in with the uh, slightly bigger hard drive sure you guys can see the two terabyte ssd and of course as well uh it's also i believe a cool looking console i guess but a lot of people are not happy with this because don't forget, we just had a huge drop of the 30th Anniversary Edition PlayStation. Or, in my honest opinion, it was a very cool design. Both with the mixture of the PS5 Pro, which I'm still mad I never got. But even the 30th Anniversary is still nice. Looks cool. Have, like, the classic PlayStation 1. Or it has nostalgia built on in. And class and style. And I just think it's overall really cool. And we haven't seen too many limited edition PlayStations. We've seen covers. But I believe this was in my... I think this was the very first ever limited edition PlayStation 5. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know they've had console covers, like the LeBron James one, the Spider-Man one, but those are console covers, not actual consoles themselves. Xbox did, back in the day, actually have a Halo Infinite Xbox Series X console, which, at the end of the day, was a very, very cool console, and I almost want to go look on eBay really quick just to see what it looks like price-wise and kind of show you guys some pictures. But Halo Infinite xbox series x and it was a pretty cool console and it does actually seem like some people are actually kind of okay with them on the, on the sell resale apparently 830 dollars 675 but it's pre-owned and open 750 but it's also apparently pre-owned so i'm sure anyone that's been boxed up i mean this is also only 600 dollars, which is kind of surprising to go and see the price points kind of gone down a little bit but i think it might be a little higher that might be like a bidding one either way but like it's a cool looking console i think it's dope like it's, but i guess it's not as good as the digital just based on the attention it's getting but it's a cool looking console but that's another big reason why i think it's kind of lame because if you guys even look at this 
and you look at the brand new console itself over here sorry as i'm coming around it basically just is the well same thing without the little extra lines and details and the one game that's very integral to xbox which is obviously the halo infinite game well halo itself so there has been now technically two limited edition xboxes but this is lame like, I don't want to be too much of a hater. Like, I don't I don't hate Xbox. I like Xbox. I have Game Pass right now. Like, I like Xbox. I want Xbox to do well. But it kind of seems like right now, these past few weeks have been, past few months, it's been Xbox seeing that PlayStation's been doing cool things, such as the 30th anniversary edition. So they're like, hey, let's go and bust out a really cool Xbox limited edition console, which mind you guys, and we'll talk about in a second, this is a $600 console. Now, it does have a few spec increases, but... Also, in retrospect, you could just go get a PlayStation 5 Pro for the extra $100, which is also crazy. Especially, too, as well, the 30th anniversary edition console is only $500, although very, very rare, and I'm sure it'll be a little bit more on the third-party market. So, I just think the console looks lame. It's very basic. It's just the Xbox Series X with some random spray paint on it, like a little dabbled in the Galaxy vibe. I like that they made it. Like, I like that there's options, but this doesn't seem, like, special. There's like not like a special anniversary edition with this. There's nothing unique with this. I'm just kind of here looking at it being like, that's cool, I guess. And I will just now go buy it. And don't forget, we also have had the most recent, I'm going to keep playing this out. We've also had the most recent white Xbox Series X, which is technically their refresher console. And it's also the comparison to the normal Xbox. Now, the controller is slightly different, but once again, nothing really has changed. And I don't mind Xbox. Like, I don't want to be an Xbox hater, but I wish they'd make something cool, like put like a car on it and make a four as a console. Or maybe go prep up something for Fable or try to get something new for the upcoming big games. Or there should have been a Starfield console at the end of the day. Like, if they would have did this and made like really cool, maybe like like space planets and like, you know, random spaceships for Starfield, if, like a, maybe like a year ago, that would have been so dope. I think people would have liked it. But once again, this is just seems like it's a filler thing for them to throw on out there as PlayStation's doing cool stuff. And once once again, I don't want to be a hater, but this just doesn't seem cool. It doesn't seem special. It doesn't seem like unique to me. And I'm not really a big fan of that because what are they doing? Like they need to go step it up. Now they might have a cool business idea to maybe make like an Xbox Series X3, like or Pro, whatever, and maybe do it like a year from now and maybe have slightly better specs or try to do the next iteration of Xbox in a year and a half and try to beat PlayStation 6 to the punch. There is like some marketing ideas behind this. And I do understand the justification of why they're delaying it or why they're kind of in this weird limbo mark. To see, make sure the Activision acquisition goes through, push out Game Pass, or maybe they are still truly trying to go and phase out Xbox, which we made a few videos and topics on already, because they are trying to push streaming. They just had a brand new streaming update for anyone who owns any game, nothing to do with Game Pass at all. And like, that's relevant. That's, it's intriguing. So they may not want to even push the Xbox that much. But once again, in the same topic of the white Xbox Series X, which is still cool, they just got rid of the disk drive, made it digital and bigger space. It just isn't really that cool of a concept console at the end of the day like it doesn't really incentivize me to want to buy the console and a lot of people out there in that same exact boat a lot of people are critiquing this and making talks about this too as well and it makes just a lot of people sad a lot of people are sad so if you kind of look at this stuff too as well people are saying this is all in regards now for this is in regards to the brand new console and people weren't happy with it. they're saying that thing is overpriced as well been saying it uh they'll say pssr is only worth the hundred dollars then because that's the price different too as well six hundred dollars for something that will just go and collect dust uh and like yeah dude people are like why not just go buy the playstation 5 pro this, this drive or not how come the ps5 pro could not simply come with the removal disk drive and stand people are you know just complaining about that either way but yeah, a lot of people are just not happy with this dude and like they're saying like disk drives they're never going to use because Game Pass is their savior. And although some people are kind of sad about it and some people are saying they bought this console, they pre-ordered theirs too as well and they can't wait to have it delivered. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not really that much of a big change. And it does make me kind of sad because I just I just feel like it could do better. Like once again, like this almost feels like it's the same console, like leftover stock. Because they have the same weird space design on the very, very top over here, which they had in the console, and then like a lower end, like little portion. So, in my mind, is it just literally the same consoles and they're just painted on over beforehand, like with what I'm showing you guys over here? Like, it kind of makes me somewhat sad seeing this because I don't, I don't think there's like originality behind this anymore. There's no big game coming out, there's no big package. And I know PlayStation doesn't have that as well, it's not like a requirement, but I'm very intrigued to see like what they even want to do in the future. Like, it makes me sad that it's not cool. And I don't know, I just, I haven't really felt the need to want to get the new white Xbox Series X. I don't really have the need to want to get this brand new limited edition console too as well. And it makes us, I mean, it looks cool. There's, look, here's a top comment. It's just Xbox with dandruff. They're envious. It's not $1,000, it's $600. $600 for a console that's four years old. 
It looks dusty. Yeah, no thanks. $600 for a paint job and one extra terabyte of storage and still being held back by the potato wars of the outrage. Uh, and people are saying, like, will the control be sold separately? I will be honest, it doesn't look good. Maybe in person it would. You got robbed. Haven't unpacked mine yet as well. It's just a lot of people are not happy with this. I think it's cool. I think, like, I'm not against limited edition consoles, but I really wish they would have did something cooler, nicer, and I just feel like they're kind of flopping right now for this holiday release for consoles, especially in comparison to PlayStation. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments on everything down below. Do you guys like it, dislike it, pick one on up. Well, I'll subscribe if you guys are new for the PS5 Pro giveaway. If you guys want to buy a PS5 Pro, all the links are down below. And same for the bonus entry links with the Twitters, the YouTubes, and of course the Twitch. And I appreciate you all so much for watching here in the first place.